at live how are you hopefully you can see me okay um, and hear me okay as well i'm hoping the sound's going to be okay um, i'm hoping also that i'm going to be able to read comments as sometimes um facebook can be a little bit iffy <laughs> to say the least so let me know hey hey everybody let me know type some comments let me know where you're listening in from hey kathy tracy how are you doing margo i think someone's request to come on video it's not that kind of uh video tonight i'm just going to be going live just me so i hope that you are all having a beautiful uh evening morning afternoon wherever you are in the world um i'm so excited to come on live um i've got so much to share with you while well, my team have and i'm going to talk to you about that in a moment so i'm just going to dive straight in and i'm going to start talking so hello everybody if you've been following me you kind of know what i'm about right now but just for those people who haven't been following me who are new here my name's lou and i love everything to do with cosmic so anything cosmic i absolutely love it and so my team and i decided to create this podcast especially for you um calling it becoming cosmically you so we're going to be talking about all the things hey amy hey austin hey mark um all the things that will be of interest to you in your journey here with regards to kind of stepping into your cosmic self um we want to talk to you about some of the characteristics today of being a star seed so i put a post out not so long ago i don't know if you've seen it but basically i want to go through some of the aspects of that i want to do some chewing it in so i want you to kind of ask questions as we go through i want you to let me know if things resonate for you i might not have time to answer all the questions actually on the live um because we've got quite a lot to cover today um but i will go back afterwards and i will tune in and i will um answer your questions for you so don't you worry about that okay so hey divine souls beings aliens however you relate to yourself so i want to talk about this notion of star seed and i really want to um kind of tune in some of your questions as well so as i'm talking kind of think of any questions that you might want to ask so i'm literally going to choose some of the points at complete random i'm going to be guided by my team um before we do that though i want to just set up um some security um energetically of course <laughs> i want to bring in my uh, light team i also want to erect a uh, force field and a shield around this call to protect everybody who's going to be watching this right now or anybody who's going to be watching it in the future i want you to feel safe and completely um hidden from any beings that don't walk with us in the light and that's really really important so i'm just going to ask them to put it up so we are in this safe space together awesome done 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 i'm also going to call in my light team as well so calling in any ascended masters any light beings any archangels any angels any elements any beings that walk with us in the light you are all welcome yes 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 come in whoa we brought an army today you guys <laughs> it's getting busy in here with all these beings so um i'm not really going to talk too much about me today um they might want me to drop in a few little bits and pieces but we'll do that another day this is more about you and talking about what a star seed is so first off let me know if you can see me and hear me um i can see everybody watching but i can't see comments right now so if someone can uh, do some typing um sometimes the comments are a little bit iffy on facebook live so you'll have to kind of bear with me if i cannot see your comments then it's always bit of a bummer i'm just gonna see if i can see my own comment hey i can see my own comment i put bye in there for some reason <laughs> so um today i'm going to go through some of the characteristics of a star seed and i really want you to have a think about whether you actually relate to these or not and you can type in your questions you can tell me you resonate or what whatnot and i'm hoping i'll be able to pick up your 
comments because at the moment it doesn't look like comments are actually working so that's a bit of a bummer oh well you know tech always has a bit of an issue around me um before i dive into the characteristics of a starseed i just want to say that if you do relate to these characteristics of a starseed it's really 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 important that you learn how to heal yourself how to protect your energy how to create a shield around you how to cleanse that energy um, and also how to protect your own boundaries so i'm talking about protecting your boundaries but from other humans but also from other entities as well and other um, beings and an energy that you're bringing in and you're channeling into it's really really important that you kind of focus on those areas because you will become some kind of magnet for all the things so that's really really important so what the first one they want me to talk about is this feeling of homesickness so if you've ever had this feeling of homesickness let me know in the comments still can't see your comments that's a bit of a bummer <laughs> oh well we'll just ride with it and hopefully i'll pick them up afterwards actually i'm gonna see if uh it's working on my desktop because sometimes facebook has a bit of a, a flid on your computer on your phone and then it works out fine on your laptop so you know who knows what's going to happen so let me just check that in the meantime i'm going to get going so this feeling of homesickness whether you've had that or not let me know in the comments i really want to know what's um how that's feeling for you oh i can't even say my li live up there how weird never mind okay we'll just run with this technology fails and all <laughs> um for me um the homesickness they're asking me to share now so for home uh, feeling homesickness was something that i felt from a very young age so around about age five i would always feel like out of place i felt like the black sheep of the family i felt that i was adopted at birth i actually kind of I remember one time clearly trying to find my birth certificate and was absolutely utterly convinced that I was adopted because I just didn't feel like any of my other family members. I was really confused. I was just like, what the hell is going on? Why do I feel this way? So bizarre. Okay. Still no comments coming through. Never mind. And so I wanted to share with you why that is. So when we come into these souls, when we come into these bodies as souls having this human experience, they pull a veil over your head, okay? And the reason why they do that isn't really to be mean, well, depending on who you listen to, but hey, hey, I come from the light and this is what I say to you. Whether this resonates with you or not, it's up to you. And it's really important, they're asking me to tell you that you resonate if you resonate with something then it's for you if you don't resonate with you and it doesn't feel in alignment with you then just check in and see why that is it might not be for you or it might be that it kind of triggers you and, and you receive some kind of fear response to that so just tune in always to see where this where that comes from but anyways when you come into these human bodies as souls you um have a veil put over your head and um, that veil pretty much kind of like takes away all your memories and your remembrance of any past lives. And the reason why they do that is because they really don't want you to be homesick. They really don't want you to miss home. They want you to experience like the best possible life here that you could ever have as a human. Because, you know, that's one of the reasons why we come to Earth is to have this human experience, to be able to feel to be able to have emotions and you might think that's crazy because sometimes emotions can feel so big and so scary that it almost feels too much you know overwhelming but that is one of the reasons why we come to the um to the earth in order to feel in order to experience what life is as a human and so they want you to fully integrate into this human experience, this beautiful human experience where, where we get to feel, where we get to evolve, where we get to learn lessons, where we get to interact with others. We get to feel love on a completely different scale as when we are beings. Um, and we get to experience all these amazing things. Um, and so that's why they put the veil over your head to make you forget. Yet what happens is... 
when you start doing the inner work, when you start being around other people who are like you, other beings, maybe you have remembrances of past lives, for example, you start activating memories, right? And then you start waking up. Well, that's a very human term, but you start waking up and you start remembering who you are. And then obviously you start speaking to other beings and they're like, yeah, I remember this, this and this. And then it activates memories. I don't know if you've had that, but let me know in the comments if you have. Um, and it can feel quite um, disorientating as well. I remember when I was going through this process. And uh, by the way, this is my first human life here. So I've never had another human life. But I remember when I had these memories activated and these like powerful remembrances and interactions with other beings that I had in previous lifetimes. I found it really, really hard to deal with because I had a lot of grief coming up. It's kind of like um, missing somebody from a past life that you've met in this current life. And then in this current life, they don't feel the same as what they did in the last life. You know, they have a different capacity in your life, in this human life. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you've got any questions, by the way. I can't see comments at the moment, which is really really incredibly typical <laughs> i'm just going to check in my group to see whether um it's in there it might be one second oh yeah i'm in there brilliant oh my god <laughs> i wonder how that happened <laughs> that's so funny oh my god i am literally such a useless being sometimes in the human experience okay with technology and working stuff out and sometimes it's a little bit like crazy so <laughs> this is all kind of normal for me okay so we've got angelo here Woo -woo. we've got uh wr tristam we've got carrie cook oh she feels like it's her first time here also it's very strange yeah it can be quite disorientating right can't it because it feels like um, that you're never really kind of fully integrated to the human life. So it takes a little bit of time to get used to. And I think especially when you're channeling information in the way that you do and you, you the connection that you have in that I sometimes have to think about the human words that I'm about to say, um, because, you know, we don't speak in human words and in English or whatever language you speak in. We have energetic exchanges as beings. We feel the answer. That's why a lot of us um, are able to tell um, how somebody's feeling just by their energy because we feel it. We know, you know, they give us signs. They emit this energy. We can tell whether someone's happy, sad, just by their energy. Um <laughs> Your vibration makes the technology go boom. Yeah, you knew what it really does. The other thing I have to warn you about, actually, as well, and um, that just reminded me to tell you, is that I can sometimes have a bit of a potty mouth. So I've got an aspect of me that sits on the 13th dimension and is an angel. But, you know, when I say, oh, I've got an angel as an aspect of me, people kind of imagine this beautiful winged creature that's really serene and beautiful and, like, you know, childlike and just amazingly graceful but actually she's an absolute badass so sometimes she would just drop f-bombs and swear words so i am warning you because if that kind of stuff turns you off or triggers you or you've got small children watching then you know meet me or leave or whatever i will try to um contain that um uh, if you're telling me that um you've got young children watching but otherwise i just let stuff throw it flow Oh, energy. Okay, so Amber's got a question. What's the best way to protect our energy from humans, energies, etc.? So, yeah, so for example, um, I have my own energy protection processes and shields and things because those are the um, downloads that I've received through my own cosmic team. And I'll talk about them maybe on another video, like who they are, how I access them, that type of thing, all that good stuff. But, um, I um I have my own processes and part of my mission here on earth is not to give you everything that you need you know it's not to spoon feed you it's not to say here you go Amber here's everything that you need right it's to say right you need to own your own fucking power 
there she goes you need to connect to your own teams and i'll talk about what i mean by team in a moment and you need to download your own processes because we are an army of beings you know being called for this amazing um opportunity to rise and to create something just amazing in this lifetime but we're all going to do it a little bit differently so yes you know when you're kind of finding your feet and you need a bit of help and energy cleaning clearing and you need a shield and you need some protection i will certainly you know help people in that respect and when i work with people i give them the tools to get them started but i always want to bring you back to your own power and that is the whole purpose of my mission here. <laughs> I love the party mouth. Okay, cool. Well, listen, that's why you were attracted to me. Maybe because I just kind of say it as it is. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I am honest. And um, I am just the same in my real human life as well. You know, I would like to say that I'm one of those humans and moms that don't swear in front of my children. But sometimes I do. But... My children are so incredibly, um, what's the word? They're so incredibly gracious and kind that even when I do kind of let one slip out, as you do, you know, I'm a mom, I've got all these things going on, I'm just talking and channeling like I'm real. Um, I sometimes let one slip out, you know, oops. <laughs> and they say to me, oh, mommy, you just said a swear word there, that's not right. <laughs> So, you know, I am real. This is me and I can't really change me. I am uh, I was 40 last year um, in human years. And, you know, no one's ever been able to change me since I was born. So I don't think anyone's going to be doing it <laughs> from this day on. So that where were we? Anyone got any questions? It's quite hard to keep up with questions and stay on topic. So if I have missed any questions, I will kind of go back over them afterwards yeah so i hope it all makes sense so far this homesickness feeling is kind of very disorientating um and i just want to talk about like picking up on other people's emotions and energy because this has come up so much recently so i just want to tune into that <laughs> angelus angelo says yes we were also so angelo is one of those beings that you know like me doesn't really relate to being human at all so if you're one of those beings that absolutely been loves being surrounded by aliens as we like to call each other um, then reach out to him and connect with him he's doing some amazing work in this lifetime of basically setting up events and getting people into these amazing events and then giving them help and assistance with in-person events so you know what connect to him and this is the purpose of the group sorry they keep coming in with um words and stuff and visions and feelings so bear with me this is the point of this group yeah i am not here to give you everything that you need with a big spoon in your mouth i am not here to tell you everything that you need to know i am here to gather people together to have this powerful group where people connect and share stories and kind of like normalize becoming cosmically you and what that means for me is i remember when i was kind of going through this process i felt very very fucking alone you know i felt like a weirdo i felt like a schizophrenic i mean the first time i ever channeled um any kind of <laughs> um messages from my team um i'd had a couple of glasses of wine right and i just heard this voice say right now's the time you need to go into your group and you need to just offer to answer some questions and honestly i didn't have a clue what i was doing i was just like okay it feels right i knew i had this divine light connection because i've always been interested in kindness and gratitude and so um connecting i would just put a random post in the group saying i know it's a bit weird guys i've had a couple of glasses of wine hiccup um type of thing does anyone have a question or a concern or a roadblock that they want me to tune into and it was quite interesting actually just receiving the answers and just trusting in full flow giving the um an answer to their questions and just not really kind of um, worrying too much about whether I'm right or wrong. Just allowing things to flow, right? That's the most beautiful thing about it. 
So Leah's here. Hey Leah. I really appreciate that you allow me to find my own mission. Well, of course, you know, and the reason why I've got to this stage of my awareness is because I've been through this process myself, right? I've been through this process of working with people, coaches and healers and light workers and all the things. And they always kind of try to um, get you to stay with them. They create this um, relationship of codependency, you know, where you are so hooked onto them and their answers that you don't find that space to find yourself. And I find that quite damaging in today's world, especially with females, especially. There's definitely many, many codependency um, wounds that we need to work through. So I don't want to be part of the problem. I really want to be part of the solution. Uh, and I said, I'm so excited to find one of my sisters. We have never met, but that says it all. <laughs> I can't remember what I said. Um, the other thing, guys, I have to remind you that when I am channeling um, the information or the answers or my team are speaking to me, I can't always remember what I say. OK, so if you pick up on something and you want to ask a question, then make sure you remind me what I've said, because, you know, once I get off this live, that will be it. I won't necessarily remember what I said and when. That makes sense. Yeah, Tracy said, that's how I feel alone and like I'm losing the plot sometimes. Yeah, it can feel like that. And you can feel like very dizzy and disorientated as well sometimes. And I still get it now, um, Tracy, where I literally kind of feel like someone's pushed me. They go, woof, you know, and... I just feel like so much energy pumping through my body and that can feel really disconcerting and kind of like dizzy and you're like, whoa. And so if you feel that way, if you feel alone and you are going crazy, I would just suggest that you surround yourself with other aliens like us, you know, other people who just get what you're about. And that's the most important thing. Um, and also kind of doing that work to further cement in i am not crazy you know i am here to do this this and this oh the other thing i should mention as well is when i have a truth in my body it creates a burp <laughs> in my body as a reaction as a physical reaction so you know if i'm like belching it's not because i've just had like 10 beers before this call um, it's because it's a truth that I've kind of integrated into my body, which is uh, a little fun, crazy fact about me. So, Kerry says, right now I feel like it's time for me to rest until I'm tired. Otherwise, I've done a lot. Yeah, defo, you know what? Um, there's been loads of questions um, popping up in the groups that I'm in, the Starseed groups, and a lot of people are worried that... Um, and literally they are missing something because it's all gone silent. You know, they've not heard from their teams. They've not had any action. And often in that moment, we've just got to trust and surrender that there is nothing to do. And this is one of the hardest things for humans to do because we are always programmed from day dot, you know, from the day that we come out of um, the woo if you like to always be in something so always be in school in college in university it will work in nine to five you know we only have two days off at the weekend so it's all like busy 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 you know and it's kind of congratulated in our society to always be busy but no one ever congratulates you if you're a really good rester and you know how to um chill everyone just thinks you're lazy right so I would just really practice, and this is for everybody, really practice just getting to the stage where you can just chill, turn your phone off, yeah, try and turn your mind off, and just be in that moment where you're like, nope, I am not lazy, I am resting, and just get used to that feeling, and then as you get used to that tiny feeling, you kind of increase the um, capacity to hold that feeling, so, you know, start with five minutes, and then, you know, do 10 minutes a day. And then eventually, honestly, you'll go like the whole day resting. Like I am just the queen of resting. <laughs> when my kids aren't here anyway, they're usually at their dad's half the week. So I get to do quite a lot of resting. Apart from when my team kind of call me to do stuff. And then it's like time has no concept, which to them, they don't give a shit about time, obviously. 
Angelo says, yes, it does. We get a thousand messages a minute. Absence, it was very common. A question I have is I'm, okay. Didn't see the rest of your question, Angelo. So I want to talk about quickly about my team and something that's come up quite recently in my own reality. So you will find that when you start connecting in this way to your own teams and your own divine channels, and obviously we're only talking about um, channeling into divine light beings, you know, we're not talking about channeling to any other um, beings or any other energy. I don't even channel into human spirits that are passed over. And there's lots of reasons why I don't do that. And I'll talk about them another day because it's not important. But the most important thing is that you... When you are downloading this information, you set up some kind of system so you know that you only are connecting to your light beings. And I call my team my team just for ease of reference. But when I'm talking about my team, what I'm also what I'm actually talking about is that I am tuning into and I am channeling messages and visions and feelings and, and healing processes from all the aspects of me that exist right now in other um, dimensions, on other realities and other timelines, um, rather than any other kind of entities or beings, if that makes sense. And I have this gateway set up in my physical body in order to ensure that everything that I receive is from me and for me, from light beings. And that's really, really important. So if you... Um, take anything away today i want you to take that away that's really important angelo said uh sorry got disconnected uh oh rest of my question was do we all astral travel and what do you see are we all seeing seeing the same thing no we don't um i astral travel and i also do a lot of work in my sleep as well so i'm called up to teach i'm called up to um do processes with people, to do one-to-ones. I'm called up to do quite a lot in my dream space. And so whatever I'm called up to do is relevant to me. So what I see in my dream space and what you see in your dream space or what you refer to as astral travel will be completely, completely different because obviously you have to remember that we are on this journey, but we are completely separate. Oh, wow, that's cool. The comments have come now. This is brilliant. Hey, Cal. Hey, Yvette. I'm sorry I haven't had a chance to say hello to everybody. It's a little bit crazy trying to keep up with comments as well. Well, that's cool. That's cool that comments are working now. At least I don't have to look at the screen as well down here. Yeah, I'm really sorry, Jessalyn, about the live. So what happened was I um, casted it into my group. And so... Um, it didn't appear on my profile. So, <laughs> you know, technology just screws up sometimes. You cannot, uh, you cannot control it. So, um, any other questions that, hang on, I'm just going to tune into my team to see if there's anything that else they want to. Oh, overwhelm. Okay, cool. So um, one of the things they want me to cover right now is overwhelm. There's a lot of beings that kind of feel in this pull in the human world to specifically help or serve humanity in such a big way that it can feel like such a big purpose, that it feels like so overwhelming. And as human beings, when we haven't fully stepped into our power, um, we feel overwhelmed because it feels so big for us. You know, we haven't got used to where we are, let alone where we are going. So they want me to help you with that. So when you get to the stage, when you are overwhelmed, I want you to always remember and bring yourself back to the present moment. And all you ever have to do is to ask one question, which is, what is my next right step? And I want you to write that down. You know, if you've got to watch the video again, write it down and always just follow that one next step. And then just do it, you know, take that one next step. And then once you've done that one step, you ask again, what is my next best step? Yeah. And just keep doing that. And that cuts through so much bullshit. And that cuts through so much overwhelm. And 
by taking it step by step you just cannot get overwhelmed with it ah you're welcome so i'm gonna have to go really soon because i've got to sort dinner out um on a monday night i do some volunteering work in the evening so i'm hoping that we're gonna be able to eat before i do that <laughs> yeah what is my next best step you've got it tracy angelo uh when you're home what does your planet look like i know we're from a different star system however we are very connected it's beautiful yeah for me so um my own story um i kind of i can feel into what i've been before but i don't spend much time going back into um where i'm from unless there's a really good reason why I'll, i need to integrate it into my reality and the reason why is because i realize that my time here is limited on earth and i realize that i've got so much to achieve that I need to stay grounded and present in this current moment. And so sometimes I allow myself to, you know, uh, travel in dream space to past lives if there's a purpose in it. So, you know, I got many remembrances from uh, being around people that I'd shared past lives with. So, um, Sue, I had a, um, a session with her recently and I said to her, like, you can call me this name if you want and um and because this is what we shared the life in and that's what i was called when we shared the life so i have kind of a lot of visions of my past lives i know kind of what i was but then i um i don't spend so much time back there if that makes sense because it isn't that important to me as a being oh yeah human steps right yeah thank you amber so really really important right um in the kind of like you know spiritual growth space we are told that we need to do the healing we need to do the energetic work but no one really talks about that um we need to take the human steps as well you know and they're really 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 important so um for example i can't remember what i was talking to you about amber and the human steps in particular to you so i'm going to just create an example here so say for example money right say for example you're having a trouble bringing in the level of abundance and wealth and money that you really want and need in order to expand you would have told that you need to heal your money story and you need to focus on reducing your karma bank yeah but then you probably haven't been told that you also need to um do the human steps you know, you have to do stuff in the human reality to expand your consciousness and wealth consciousness. So that means something like, as an example, um, looking at what position you are in right now. Hey, dudes, um, where are you right now with your finances and abundance? You know, what is happening in your reality to either um, reaffirm that you are a fully abundant being or reaffirm that you've still got work to do because you know you're feeling quite constrained about around resources and then you have to do certain human steps so you know in order to accept more of anything into your life you have to be a hundred percent integrated into the position you are right now in this present moment and you have to find so much gratitude within the place that you are right now even if even when that position you are in right now is really fucking incredibly painful yeah and then and only then when you can find gratitude and you can find the lessons you can then start feeling and calling in the expansion and most people miss those human steps they just focus on the healing and the energetics so you know for example money you know if you're looking to build more wealth and um, more uh, resources and bring in more abundance you need to look at where you are right now and you need to be grateful for what you've got and what you can achieve with what you've got right now even if and even when it's you know painful for you it's kind of like they're showing me this vision of a lot of humans would just bury their hand, head in the sand and just hope it goes away Whereas actually we need to face the fear, grab it by the balls and just deal with it. And sometimes 
and not doing that can create so much friction and so much resistance that we don't end up achieving what we want to achieve and that's really important i hope that made sense amber I'm just gonna have some water hey Anka. so i think i've covered a few points today oh one more point be the buffalo and not the cow interesting i'm not sure what that means in human terms but sounds cool ah oh, you're welcome angelo Mwah. thank you for joining us right one more thing before i go and then i'm gonna have to go fix dinner um star seeds always want to know right uh where they are from where their orange gins are from you know whether they're from pleiades or if they're an archeron or armedia or Illyria or Nemuran and there are so many different categories of star seeds and origins and stories and past lives and a lot of you will just have so many questions okay and what I really want to integrate into your being that it doesn't really matter fully where you are from what matters the most is that you accept that you are a being and explore that you know explore what you can do with this newfound knowledge and um, lean into who you are as a being right now what gifts you've got how you can service the world and how you can really evolve, evolve and grow i think a lot of humans and beings are getting all caught up with always needing that label of where they're from because you know there's a lot out there that still need that validation and I'm not judging you if you do, but I'm just saying that if you're one of those people, I want you to really think about why do you feel like you really need with it, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, that's just a thought, a uh, question for thought, something to kind of pose over. Um, and I just want to send so much gratitude for everyone to turn up. And um, this has been a first um, for me starting this podcast. I'm hoping um i will be able to do more i'm going to be continuing this podcast i don't know whether i'll do it weekly or daily probably daily for a bit but let me know what you think whether you are tune in every day you know whether you watch the replays i'm going to choose a topic each time and it's going to be quite laser focused and also um if you've got any if you've got any more intimate questions that you don't want to kind of ask on my personal profile then i'd invite you to join us in the cosmic portal which is an online space that i've set up and um, in there obviously it's a private group so if you want to join us in the cosmic portal and you haven't then reach out to me message me on facebook and ask me for the link i think everybody's got it because my uh everyone's in there from here i think because the live actually appeared in the group so i'm hoping you're all in here uh what else do i need to tell them team okay yes yeah, so you know human things if you got value from this then i want you to drop a comment and let me know what your biggest takeaway was if you feel like you'd like to share this with people obviously invite people to the group share the video to what you want to do with it and um yeah let me know whether you've got any more questions and listen i will try my very best to go through all of these comments and make sure that everybody has an answer okay so i know jocelyn you had two more questions um it's quite difficult when you're doing a live to kind of keep up with the questions and listen to uh infinite members of your team <laughs> downloading all kinds of messages to you in a language is, which isn't human so yeah bear with me that i haven't been able to answer questions fully but if we can find the space we'll definitely do that and let me know if you want to see these daily or weekly um and let me know the kind of topics that you want to learn about as well i i usually what i do when i'm writing my content is i literally just um pick a subject or my team will give me a download and then i would just write on it so i would just channel the information um as they want to speak to you so i'll probably do the same when i'm doing the um the lives does that make sense oh yay you're welcome you're welcome Jessalyn. i'm not sure what matty said but kerry said she likes that matty so um the comments have just gone totally crazy tonight so i will catch up with you all soon 
thank you so much for joining me here and sending you lots of love, light and miracles. Mwah! Take care!